Nigeria, you can't be saying that is a big brother, that you're going to be putting Niger in sanctions and you're going to be cutting off their electricity because they're an illegitimate government. We know this rubbish by now, uh, the Honorable President of Nigeria. You're still struggling to get recognized yourself. So don't make it more complicated. We know who won the elections and we know who is in power. Now you get up on the air and begin to talk like, hey, this is a compromise of democracy. Demo democracy is my foot. You're sitting in that chair without democracy. If this was Biafra or something, I would have been saying maybe it's indigenous. His name is Joshua Maponga from Zimbabwe. This man is a popular African and a philosopher. This man has contributed to the revolution and the new Africa. He has worked with the United Kingdom Global Management Center, and this man is a man that every African must always listen to. If you have not been listening to this man, check him out on Google, check him out on Facebook, on a DSTV, channel 335. Check him out everywhere. He's an author. He speaks for African. He speaks in a manner that Africans must be liberated from every colonial um, power that has been tightened. Listen to this man as he speaks. I would like to make an announcement from the Sorcerer Dynasty right here in the Grand Monomtapa Kingdom and uh, summon all the kings and all the presidents to call each other and have an Africa summit. An Africa summit immediately, which can begin to discuss uh, the issues of the unity of Africa. This cannot be done in the buildings of Africa Union because when you go there, you have not done anything of difference. So we suggest uh, that you call yourselves for a meeting. The other day I saw all of you, you were willing to run into China uh, because a chi one Chinaman had called you and you all ran there. And a few days ago, you, you, you were all in Russia, 18 or 17 or 16 of you, you know, because Putin had called you. You know, and this is the, maybe this is the problem of African politics, where you always wait for other people to determine your agenda. And the one who calls you for a, for, for a meeting will determine what must be discussed on the agenda. So it's very simple, it's very simple. I can even help you to write the agenda of the meeting that you must have as all the 54 leaders of Africa. Simple agenda, one passport, one army. Now you know. We used to say these things some few years ago and you thought that we were crazy. They will be killing you one by one as African leaders and as African countries. There is no way that your country can fight a superpower by itself. Now you have seen what has happened in Niger and the impact and the effect when you are in camaraderie. You know, Burkina Faso is coming on board. Mali is coming on board. You know, Cameroon, pull up your socks. Nigeria, you can't be saying that is a big brother, that you're going to be putting Niger in sanctions and you're going to be cutting off their electricity because they're an illegitimate government. We know this rubbish by now, uh, the Honorable President of Nigeria. You're still struggling to get recognized yourself. So don't make it more complicated. We know who won the elections and we know who is in power. Now you get up on the air and begin to talk like, Hey, this is a compromise of democracy. Demo democracy is my foot. You're sitting in that chair without democracy. If this was Biafra or something, I would have been saying maybe it's indigenous. So we need to st start seeing Mali, Senegal, Cameroon, Burkina Faso, Niger coming together. So we don't have to wait for coup d'etats. Because even presidents who are now sitting in power, and you have been friends of the Americans, friends of the British, friends of the Chinese. You must know that people are getting frustrated by the day. Your, your day is coming. So before your day comes, start thinking ahead. I want to call all the kings of Africa, all the presidents of Africa, and prime ministers alike. Find yourself a venue somewhere. Pay for yourselves. Have an Africa, Africa summit by yourselves. Call the meeting yourselves come on call the meeting yourselves don't only jetting out and in and out of town when you are being called by some white people and european people 
and they tell you and go there and pause and take some some frozen pictures of some ice men call the meeting yourself set up the agenda for yourself one passport one army one educational system one bank one currency one leader for Africa you all remain in your places but one leader for Africa one flag for Africa one national anthem for Africa let's close this this let's close down this people always want to pretend to be smart when it comes to unity people want to become smart no we can't unite because of because of then all of a sudden their reasoning capacity comes into place but hey, poverty knows no reasoning politics and hunger are not friends so I want to make an announcement this morning that you can not only be seen in Beijing can't be seen in Paris can't be called into United Nations can't be called into BRICS meetings and there you are begging to become a member of BRICS and etc yes BRICS is a good idea on the top line but Africa is richer than BRICS so how about you African presidents you call yourselves your own meeting call your own meeting I don't know who will chair it but call your own meeting if you are cheeky and you have guts you can invite me to come and address all of you all of you in one room and I'll tell you the cloth from which you are cut but that's at your own risk but to avoid any inconveniences call your meeting Elder Museveni call the meeting Elder Nangagwa call the meeting Masisi, call the meeting. Gencock, call the meeting. Tore, call the meeting. Ruto, call the meeting. Call the meeting yourselves. I repeat, call the meeting yourselves. And begin to set up an agenda for yourselves as African leaders. Or else, these cool habits that you are seeing, six coups so far, seven, Eight schools. It's not going to stop. The young people are becoming impatient because you are not prepared to be dealing with critical issues of African unity. Our strength as Africa is only in unity. The small little stupid flags and stupid borders that we put around us are not security at all. They are not security at all. Don't even be excited that we have our flag, we have our national anthem. That's all you have. A piece of cloth. In the few poems you call a song. Call a meeting. Convene an African summit. Host it yourselves. Set up the agenda. Put up objectives. Clear objectives. Before you leave office, Leave us a legacy of a united Africa. Then you can die. Just leave us a legacy of a united Africa. We are right at the plateau. We cannot wait any longer. Marcus Gavi came and went. Nkwame Kruma came and went. Kambarage Nyerere came and went. Mugabes came and went. Samora Macheros came and went. Lumumbas. Sinkaras. Same story, same story being spoken. But our leaders, you can't hear it. So if you don't hear it, the young people who have heard it will do it. And the way they will do it might not always be the best. I hope that all progressive presidents, leaders, kings, prime ministers who will get the voice note I am sending right now. I am calling for a meeting in the spiritual realm for all African leaders to come together, not under Africa Union, but come together under the symbol mandate of the unification of Africa. I am calling that meeting. I'll be present in the spirit. I'm calling that meeting. And it must happen. Then Africa will change. Better future for us and our children. That's all I had for you today. Call a meeting. Call a meeting.
We are one nation. Just call a meeting. Set up our own agendas and drive our own trajectory. There's nothing to wait for. Nothing to wait for. That's all I had for you today. Share the video. Share the video with your president. Share the video with the political party. Share the video with your prime minister, with your political leaders and heads and community leaders, religious leaders. Time for Africa to unite. Set up a new narrative for our people all around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something is moving in my spirit, something is moving in my spirit. It's time for change. We will not wait any longer. Time has been wasted. And we need to start gathering together and make it come to pass in our generation, in our generation, in our generation. Before I close my eyes, Africa must be united as one. I should be able to travel from Cape to Cairo, from Madagascar to Senegal, Gori Island, with no one asking me who am I and my complexion is my passport. Divided we fall, united we stand. It is now or never. We do it now or die. Call a meeting. Call a meeting. Call a meeting. Have yourself a wonderful day, United Kingdoms of Africa. United States of Africa, United Global Kingdoms of Africa. I don't care. Just unite the continent. Unite the continent. Amanda! 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 Maka!